Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Ultimate Skyrim. This is Season 1, Episode 46, I believe. So last we left off, um, we were in a little bit of a predicament. Um, we might die. It's a very real possibility. Um, I hope we don't, obviously, because I love Hilfred. But I've been thinking about it, and, you know, if we die, it's not the end of the world. There's still a decent amount of time left in Season 1, or a little bit, enough for us to get another character underneath our belt, have some fun with it. But obviously, I'm going to do everything I can to keep our Nordic warrior alive. Um, as of right now, it's very possible that the second I leave this menu, um, I get beamed by an arrow from behind to the back right. So I know there's two archers over there who are, uh, taking pot shots, and, um, if they get me, that's probably gonna do it. Um, I need to put on a potion of healing. Now, we could, we have a couple options here. Um, we really bit off more than we could chew with this quest, I think. Um, Minor Arcana Forsworn are absolutely fucking gnarly. Um, and we probably should run away, but here's what I'm going to do. Let's see if I survive this next couple seconds, and if so, I'm going to evaluate. All right, so there's health. Whoa, move around. Ow, fuck, what? Well, took a hit, but I managed to withstand it. Thank you, heavy armor. Jesus, you guys are crazy. Okay, so we have some health replenishing. Let's see. Whoa! They are good, these guys. Now, if we can get around, there's no way we can stand against that ghostly werewolf, the one that we went up against. Um, we saw that pretty quickly. Wah! You know, I can make them waste their arrows. But um, what we could do is if we can get to the Forsworn who's summoning him, um, it might be worth it. Oh, here, we can do grand healing, maybe for Jizargo. Am I right? Where's Jizargo at? There he is. Whoa! Hey, boy. Did he do it? I don't even think it worked on him. I think he was too far away. Well, that's wonderful. We wasted that scroll. Um, let's see here. Potion of... Do I not have any of my health potions favorited? I do not. They must be old. Or new, rather. The opposite of old. Potion of Magicka. Let's go ahead and favorite all these boys. Just so we have them. Skuma. I don't want to fuck with any of that stuff. Uh, potion of Cleansing. Ably Aiming. na 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 boo boo Stick your head in doo-doo. Let's go Potion of Regeneration. That'll be nice. Let's go a Deficient Potion of Healing. Get ourselves back to top. Um, I don't have my Healing Aura on, do I? Oh, yeah, I do. There it is. Um, okay. Whoa. Take your shots. Whoa, the other one seems to have left. Oh, no. There they are. Whoa. Oh, they're shooting at Jazargo. You sons of bitches. All right, let's see what we got here. Whoa! Okay, there's our Forsworn. That might be our Summoner, though. Um, what does he have? He has, like, a fire spell and what looks like maybe a ward. So if we can stun this guy, um, we might be able to actually take him out. Uh, let's go ahead and see here. I have Unrelenting Force equipped already. Um, but it's not gonna be easy to... Oh, what's he doing? He must be waiting on magic. Oh, he switched to an electricity spell. What are you gonna do? Oh, is that frost or is that a ward? Oh, yeah, he's got a ward up. Oh, my God. Okay, well, that really hurt. But I think we can get him. I think we can get him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm really, really tense right now. I know we can do this. Oh, Venom of a Spider. All right, if there's ever been a time to use it. Um, yeah, all right, fuck. Swing. Ah, oh, yeah, baby. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Are you dead now? Please tell me he was a Briar Heart. Whoa, nope, Thistle Branch, Deep Wood, Readout Key. So he might not have been our summoner, which is a problem. But he's dead now. That counts for something. So let's go. Oop, we got a lag spike. All right, let's see here. All right, we still have that um that ward over there or that thing. I want to get rid of that most definitely. Here, let's listen in. I can't hear anyone. But uh, if we see that ghostly werewolf again, we're gonna have to hightail it in the other direction. Also, what is that light source? That makes me think that there's a person on the other side of here. I don't see it. Oh nope. Just oh, what is happening there? Oh, it's just actual natural lighting. Okay, well this is clearly not a safe spot. Um, let's see where Jazar goes at. Maybe we can, um... Man, that poison's still affecting him, I think. Hey, Jazargo! My buddy! We got a pheasant? There he is. Alright, here, come on. I got you, my friend. Um, let's go ahead and... If I just double hit... Yeah, there it is. Did I do the, um, empowering? I can't remember. Can I check him? Can I check his health? Oh, look out, Jazargo! Run back! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. There you go. That's what I'm talking about, my boy. Uh, how's your health doing? You're doing okay. Just expend it. It's good restoration experience either way. There we are. Alright, now we're, we're doing... Alright, so we've been talking about this, some of you and I in the comments, about his uh, lack of armor, which is very apparent. Um, we did pick up that Forsworn armor. 
um, extreme destruction. Now, see, the reason I didn't equip him with this already is because I'm slightly afraid that the, um, the, uh, what's the word? The debuffs from the armor will kind of not make it worth the extra destru uh, destruction spell. Okay, that was very poorly explained. I'm afraid that the penalties to casting from the light armor will not be worth the additional bonus he gets from like the armor rating itself and also the destruction. But I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. He does look positively badass, so that's worth something, right? All right, Jazargo, let's keep it going. I'll kill you if I have to. How does that sound? It's a very rude thing to say to somebody. You don't have to be rude. Uh, common soul gem. All right, well, let's be very careful here. We don't want to die against something as simple as a uh, rune, like a frost rune, when we come so far and up against so many mythical creatures and threats. Yeah, let's keep that shit out. Jazargo, you don't know what we're going to come up against. Um, let's see, we got some mead. What else do we got here? Arcane Enchanter. So, as some of you more experienced players will know, um, I really shouldn't be facing these guys, to be honest. Uh, these Forsworn really are uh, kind of a class above me. But uh, who knows? Let's see what we can do. The real point of our quest was to get that um, that Banished Daedra Greatsword. So, we have that. That means that we have to kind of turn tail and run. Um, it's not the end of the world. Uh, but I would like to push forward as much as we can, because I find that a lot more exciting, you know? Um, now we have a problem, because I think that the only way forward is underneath those archers. Um, I do have a ward, uh, but I don't know how well it protects against um, physical damage. Let's check it out. Um, 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 I'm looking for powers. No, I'm looking for spells. That yeah, restoration. Arcane ward, rank 2 and rank 1. Um, caster creates a protective shield, moderate amount of physical damage, and it gets up to 26 points of spell damage. Um, sure. Why don't we do that? Um, just in case. And then, do we not have heal self yet? I don't think we do. That needs to be, that's on our shopping list for sure, is heal self. Um, that would be nice now that we have an actual magical pool and, like, magical equipment. Alright, I think this is the only way forward. Oh, wow, that drains my magicka super fucking fast. Alright, well, we'll just do it the old-fashioned way. Move forward. Where'd you find him? Forsworn forever. forever, huh? We still have unrelenting force equipped. I want to make sure that's on my bar. Oh, yay. Alright, well, now I'm beneath them, so it's going to be hard for them to shoot me. me. Where are they at? You got one and two. I just want to make sure that summoner is dead, you know? I mean, it's possible that guy we killed was the summoner. Alright, just use cover. Be smart. Uh, what do we have here? Search skeleton. Nothing great. And that's a steel dagger. Where the fuck are we supposed to go in this place? Check my map here. Um, Skyrim. Um, is there a way forward the way that we came? Find the priest of Boethia. No, I get that. Hmm. Um. I hear him knocking an arrow. Is that the right term? Knocking an arrow? I feel like it is. Ooh, these spikes are... Spikes. Uh. Bah. Icicles. Why can I not remember the word icicle? Oh. Come, come and face the Forsworn. I would like to. I just don't know how to get to you. Where are they? There they are. Whoa. Okay. Well, we should be able to move back fairly easily here. Uh, where's Jazargo? Maybe it's towards the beginning? Where am I? No, I don't think so. Alright, I guess we gotta go around this way. It's not in this door. I thought I tried opening this door already and it was locked. Wasn't that the case? Oh, I got the key now! Alright, I'm stupid. Stupid, stupid. Alright, Jazargo, where are you, my friend? Where is my friend Jazargo? I'm gonna use my ability. Leader's telepathy. No, leader's summon. Leader's teleportation. There he is. There's my guy. And now back to unrelenting force. And we are moving forward. Oh, we got a dwarven sword in there. And a dead person. All right, just watch out for summons. Ooh, I see a trap. Did you hear something? We gotta watch out. I don't know where that trap's gonna be. Oh shit! Whoa! All right, well that was an arrow. That was an arrow hitting me. I think. Not the trap. Oh, Jazargo. Ugh, okay. Well now we triggered that. All right, keep moving up, zigzag. Ouch! Ah, oh, that actually really hurt. What are you fucking unrelenting force? Do it! Thank you. Oh, I just killed Jazargo. God damn it. You gotta be fucking joking me. Oh, God. Great. Now, oh, I am, I am gonna have to rejoin the college. Oh, my God. Unrelenting force killed him? Are you... Oh, God. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Sometimes that's just the way that it fucking shakes out. My God. How frustrating that is.
I'm sorry, my friend, Jazargo. I didn't think that could kill him. I, it's like fucking unrelenting force, you know? Alright, well, here we go. Ouch. Alright, well, here. Um, we're still fine on healing. Whoa. Whoa. Here, let's bring him back. Ah, he switched over. God damn it, he's smart. I was trying to... Whoa! I was trying to cheat him. Ugh. This is annoying. All right, well, here. I have some Atronox scrolls yet. Here's what I'll do. I will take my scrolls. Scroll of... Um, ah, the familiar will work just fine, I think. Right there. All right, gotta watch out for this trap. This is gonna do it. All right, guess not. Boom. Yeah, wolf. Take him out. Ah, I can't. I'm stuck. Oh, I missed. Oh, no, I did not. Yeah, that is what I'm talking about. Oh, Jazargo. No. Rejoining the college. I've been suspended from the college for my actions. God damn it. Well, then. Well, I mean, I guess it makes sense in the RP in that, like, I took one of the apprentices and they joined up with me and I got them killed. So maybe they would be pissed about that. Um... I guess, I've never had to do this before, so I'm curious as to exactly what that quest line will bring. I'm sorry, Jazargo, my friend. Ah, oh, I feel genuinely bad about this. This is fucked up. Well, there's a spell tome that I gave him that he never used. Take the pale blade. I might as well take a water skin. I don't have a whole lot of space on me anymore. I think most of the stuff we're going to leave behind. Apprentice robes of destruction. Carry all that stuff. The rest of this is kind of done. How about we take a horker loaf and just eat it real fast? Whatever. I'm not worried about it. Oh my god, Jazargo, my friend. I feel so bad just leaving you here like this. But I have things I need to do. I like to think that, um... That Hjorford is not a particularly sentimental person, but she just lost a, a dear friend to her. And she did it. So, talk about a moral conflict. Talk about an internal moral struggle. It's like, what is she even doing here? Is this quest for answers really worth the death of her friends? Oh... God, what a, she, you know, as they say, the life of an adventurer, life of an adventurer is not all fucking roses and daisies. Is that an expression? Do people say that? If not, they should. Let's see, the Mad Men of the Reach. Oh, look, it's a book about the Forsworn. This actually might be useful here. Let's take a, a quick look at this book talking about the Forsworn. How long is this, actually? I'm going to go ahead and thumb through it just to see if it's worth reading. Uh, okay, it's not that bad. All right, here we go. Just to give you guys some insight into the people that we're fighting right now. Since the legendary victory of Tiber Septim over the barbarian natives in the Battle of Old Trolden, Imperial and Nord scholarship has cast the people of the Reach as little more than savages, prone to irrational fits of violence, worshipping old heretical gods, and fetishizing beasts and nature spirits that any civilized person would best well avoid. In truth, these accounts are little more than victor's essays, a perspective narrowed by the Empire's constant strife with the ancient, proud people that lived in this land far before Tiber Septim walked the soil of Tamriel. Excuse me, gotta swallow. Blah. In light of this, I hope to create a more complete, accurate, and fair assessment of a group that has long suffered under the role of enemy, troublemakers, and quote-unquote them. Let us begin with the Forsworn, the so-called Madmen of the Reach. The Imperial Legion classifies them as little more than brigands, noting their constant raids and ambushes within the Hold. But none of their military reports ask the question of why. If they were merely a group of bandits, surely they would be focused on acquiring gold and minimizing deaths among their own. But the opposite is true in Forsworn attacks. Large sums of coin are often left behind, and their fighters easily throw away their lives rather than risk capture by Imperial soldiers. It is this incongruity that led me to Markarth, the capital city of the Reach, in search of answers. There, I met one of the native peoples, an old woman who preferred not to be named in my writings. She told me of her family's long history, how she believes they originally came from High Rock, home of the Bretons, which would explain the similar faces and stature of the two peoples, how the Nords came and took their lands, their gods, and their culture from them. When asked about the Forsworn, the old woman would say that they are the real men and women of the Reach, those that refuse to give in to the Nords. Those that still practiced the ancient traditions that the rest of their people had abandoned in exchange for peace. In time, I was able to create trust with many more natives in my search that corroborated the old woman's story. By chance, one of them arranged a meeting between myself and what I thought was an elder member of his village. I was shocked to find that I was led to a camp, filled with the animal skulls, severed heads, and still beating hearts that I had read about from the military reports back in the Imperial City. There, I met Kortorin a forsworn who seemed amused at the prospect of me writing down his story, which I quote in full below. You want to know who the forsworn are? We are the people who must pillage our own land. 
burn our own ground. We are the scourge of the Nords, the axe that falls in the dark, the scream before the gods claim your soul. We are the true sons and daughters of the Reach. The spirits and hags have lived here from the beginning, and they are on our side. Go back. Go back and tell your empire that we will have our own kingdom again. And on that day, we will be the ones burying your dead in a land that is no longer yours. Positively badass. I love the Forsworn as a faction. And in fact, actually a lot of that book um, was new to me as well. So really cool to get some additional backstory there, I think. Anyway, let's move forward. I think this is going to be our next cell. Um, and keep in mind, I'm still not above um, turning back. Ruined book. Actually, these things make for great kindling. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a few. Um, I'm still not above turning back. I didn't think we'd be able to make it as far as we have. Um, and it's worth mentioning that uh, this room might contain even gnarlier threats than what we've faced up to now. So if we need to, we'll turn back. We'll turn tail. There's really no shame in it in uh, living to fight another day um, when you're playing. The, the way you really have to think about this, and so some of you have told me that um, Ultimate Skyrim has inspired your own kind of new playthroughs of Requiem and your own new mod configurations, which I think is just absolutely fucking rad. It's so wonderful. I absolutely love it. Um, but one of the things that you guys have been having trouble with is the permadeath feature and, you know, quitting characters after one death because you die so often. And it is true. Um, one thing that makes things a little bit easier is that um, when you're a new character in Requiem, you really shouldn't feel bad about dying because new characters are obviously the weakest and they're the most prone to death. They die very easily. And um, we pretty much got lucky with Hjolfred in the beginning. But I've also played these games a lot. So I have some sense of, you know, like kind of how to keep myself alive. Um, at least a little bit better than I used to. So, like, don't feel bad. Like, if you die and have to reroll characters, it's all part of the fun. And what you guys haven't seen since I've started this series is all the times that I've had to do similar things um, and reroll a billion different characters or all the stupid times I've died. Also, holy shit. This is extensive, to say the least. Um, I don't know about this, guys. I think we might have bitten off more than we can chew here, especially if we don't have our good friend Jazargo anymore. That is not what I wanted to do. I'm looking for the leather case telescope. There we are. Let's see what we got here. Ah, oh, I can't see anything. Got Forsworn. Let's just kind of poke our head forward. How about that? Ah, oh, there's two of them. This is a really rad place, though. We're not going to really get to approach them without being seen. I think that much is certain. Oh, I think they see us. I think they see us. The thing we got to watch out for more than anything else is summons. Oh, boy. Um, the arrows are not as big of a deal. All right, well, we are pinned down over here. We might be able to do it. It's still possible. Um, let's go ahead and take a potion of uh, um, stone skin. Whoa. Ow. Still, they got me. All right, running. Close that gap. This is the kill zone that we're in right now. All right, now if we can bring... Oh, that would be a summon. And what is it? What sort of summon is it? That would be a wolf. All right, we are really in trouble here. Running back, running back, running back. Zigzag. Zigzag. Oh, 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 that's how we do it. That's how we do it. Okay, now we're fighting on our turf. We got a ghostly wolf, more or less. Here, we just got to put ourselves in a place. Oh, my God, you guys hear how many arrows are being rained down on us. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, woo. Cool. Uh. Oh, there goes that guy. Oh, there it is. There it is. Smart. We did it. All right, we're going to run low on healing potions here pretty quick, though. Um, shit. How about scrolls? We still have our healing aura. That's going to help things. Let's see if we can kite more guys out here. Let's see what we got. What do we... Ah, ha, ha. Bring it out. Come on. Keep coming. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Let's get a potion of stamina up here, too. Regeneration. That'll help a little. How we doing? All right, what do you guys think? Think we can bull rush him? I think we can. Oh, off the edge. Ah, oh, well, no, I knocked him over, though. That counts for something. All right, there's another one. We're slowly whittling him down. Ouch. Goddamn. Okay, who else are we dealing with here? Ah, ha, ha. That's what we do. That's how we do it, Miliel. Oh, boy. Oh, raining down hellfire. Oh, what an action-packed episode this has been. 
Um, we still got a couple magic users over there. I see them. Um, but they're all ranged, so we're gonna have to get real close if we want to fight them. Let's go ahead and give ourselves one of these shitty, uh, healing potions again. Deficient. There we are. Um, we'll have to come back and search these guys. Maybe we'll search them now. Staff of Flames, that would be cool. I can't hold it at the moment, though. So, we're just gonna have to deal with it. Um, moving up. Cover to cover. That's how we do it. Alright, got both of them up there. If I could bull rush them off, that would be ideal. Huh! Let's move! Whoa! Ouch. Hey, well, at least we're getting heavy armor experience. Oh my god, that's so loud. All right, we got three. Oh, what you gonna do, my friend? He's got a ward. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. I got him. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, she's got arcane ward as well. Oh god. All right, we gotta be smart about this. Um, that fucking... She's got mage armor on. And that is pretty obnoxious. So if we're gonna do this again, we gotta, all right, right now we gotta, let's see, Potion of Visibility, Magicka, that's not what I'm interested in. Potion of Stone Skin would be nice. And we gotta move. Ouch. The Ghastly Wolf fucker. Oh, uh, we're gonna need Stamina too. Oh. Oh, that's a problem. All right, well, we got two more. Lure him into our trap. Oh, that wolf is coming up. The longer we can run away from him too, the uh, faster he'll, yep, there he goes. He's gone. All right, now we got an Unrelenting Force. Take the one who got stunned. That's how we do it. Ouch. Gotta make sure we don't get... Oh, is this one running? Boy. Ah, uh, fucking mage armor, man. I think we scared him, though, because we killed his friend. This is how you murder Forsworn. Also, fuck, did my thing break? Something broke. Hold on a second, what broke? I think one of my pieces of armor broke. Um, Hedge Knight Gauntlet's armor. Oh, do I not have any boots anymore? Fucking goddamn. That's not good. Um, shit. Gloves. Leather case telescope. Noble fur lined boots. Yep, that's it. Fucking dang it. Oh well. That's what happens. And these are not tempered either. Alright, well we're doing okay. This is not bad. We're slowly inching them down. Who's still fucking shooting at us? Oh, we got two more coming up on the bridge. You see them? I think they both have wards coming up too. Alright. Bring it on. We get some food. It's like a nice little stop for a, a chicken, but no, that's not cooked. Horker loaf. That'll help things. All right. Um, now, oh, here comes somebody. Looks like they're running, or they have a... Whoa. That did not do anything. Yeah, boy. All right, where's your friend? Ah, here he comes. That's right, come to me. Past the, the your fallen dead friends. Oh, you are in trouble, my friend. Take your shot. Oh, you missed. There it is. Boom. Oh. Not dead after one power attack. Oh, we got another one. How about you? And boom. That is how we fucking do it. How many Forsworn was that, guys? You guys keeping count at home? I'm not. My adrenaline's pumping, though, I can tell you that. All right. Hey, not bad, right? Search. All right, let's go ahead and get up our stuff here. Garnet. Let's reap the uh, Forsworn Armor of Major Restoration. Pretty good. Um, da, 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 da. Nothing great there. Not bad. Not bad if I do say so myself. Um, we killed a couple people over here, didn't we? Yeah, here we go. I don't think we're going to be coming out this way if a typical ah, ha, ha, Bethesda dungeon design is anything to talk about. All right, Forsworn Boots, well made. We can do that. It's better than our, what's it called? Um, what we're wearing now. Uh, let's see here. Novice Robes of Restoration. What was it? Forsworn Boots. There we go. Um, equip that, and then real fast, we're going to go ahead and put that in our uh, equip set. Just so we have it. Just in case. Just until we find something better. Um, I think. And did we search this guy? I can't remember. Oh, my adrenaline is still pumping. I can't believe we did that well. Um, that was a lot of luck, but I think we played really well in that scenario. Um, I think it was, you know, good to kind of, like, kite them out. Um, Forsworn headdress. How is that better than what I have now? Am I still wearing my hood? No, I'm wearing my helmet, right? Maybe it just means it's the best of the evasion stuff? I don't even, I don't even know. Legendary plate helmet, well made. Yeah, there's no way it's better than that. Alright, well, we're not out of the woods yet. There could still be enemies. We gotta be careful. Ah, how cold is it in here, too? Uh, we're starting to get cold. 
Good thing we didn't get colder beforehand. All right. God damn, this whole place is just like fucking huge. In fact, let me check the map real fast. Oh no, he's here. He's not inside the other cell. On the, all right, well here, before I go all gung-ho, I bet you we're gonna have to fight a hag raven too. So that's something I'm concerned about. Let's just keep searching here. Oh, there's another Forsworn, I think, way off in the distance there. You guys see him? Uh, uh, uh leather case telescope. Yeah, that is a Forsworn. Oh no, that might be the priest. Let's see. Nope, I don't think so. I do not think so. Oh, it's so loud. I hope you guys can still hear me. Um, my dynamics are set. I don't know if any of you guys have noticed this, but um, I spent a lot of time trying to get good levels for like my audio. And um, I do a really fun thing. Um, if any of you guys produce content of this sort or like Let's Play stuff or really just anything, any uh, audio content at all, um, a really fun thing that you can do um, in most uh, audio editing programs, I use uh, Audition in case you're wondering, but um, you can do what's called side chaining. Um, and basically the way that that works is that I have my uh, tracks set up, my audio recording tracks, so that um, the game audio will automatically lower whenever I start speaking, um, which is a much better alternative than trying to just even out the waveforms and find like a, a level that works. Oh, how do we get through here? Why do we even want to get through here? Um, but it helps out a lot because then you don't have to individually monitor for like spikes or like loud areas. Um, it's not perfect because for, ooh, how pretty. Um, like I said, it's not perfect because like there will still be problem areas if you're not careful. However, um, it's definitely better than, like I said, just kind of individually monitoring each section, each section rather. Ah, this fucking snow makes it impossible to see anything. Um, oh shit, hello. Ow, ow, that didn't hurt at all actually. You scared the shit out of me though. David, David, whatever your name is. Let's continue checking. I don't want to go into full loot mode here because I know there's still threats. Um, it's possible we could just like get the priest and then get out. That would probably be the smartest thing for us to do. Um, let's see here. I'm thinking that's our guy. I don't want to just rush in. Yep, here he comes. Here he comes. Bring it, dog. Boom! And you're done! Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. What kind of. Oh, there's our Briar Heart, I think. Oh, he's got a ghostly wolf. Alright, let's run that wolf out. We can do that. Or just get it by itself. Oh my god, it's so fast. Um, that one looks more special to me, too. Alright, we're definitely gonna use a Poison of Decay on that boy. What? Fuck you, I see you coming. I just don't know how strong these things are, you know? I don't want to risk it. Alright, where'd he go? Here comes our friend, the Briarheart. Probs. I think he is a Briarheart. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put on another one of our fucking, uh, Venom of a Spider. Uh, yes, let's do it. Come on. Boom! That's what I'm talking about! No! Oh shit, it did. Oh, we still got 200% degrade. Tiny Wickfield, baby. That's what's up. We got Dwemer control rod, Forsworn boots, Forsworn headdress, Garnet, Harabuna steak. Delicious. Look at this thing. Rad. Um, nothing really all that great otherwise. But he was probably one of our tougher enemies to worry about. So that's good. Right? Fuck yeah, man. We just took out like this entire Forsworn camp almost. At least that's how it seems. Um, also, I have some potions of featherweight, right? Oh my gosh, that's so loud in my ears. Hopefully it's, uh... I'll, I'll, I'll try and take extra care to adjust the levels in today's episode. Oh, fuck yeah. Awesome, man. I'm really proud of us. Good job, everybody. We did a, a thing that we probably shouldn't have been able to do yet. And we didn't even rely on, like, stupid AI stuff. We actually, like, played the encounter well. Which is always nice, instead of people like Vigilant Tyrannus ruining the fight by pulling out their crossbow. Sacred Witness, huh? True History of the Night Mother. Ooh, Dark Brotherhood stuff. Apothecary's Satchel. Um, yeah, okay. Troll Fat? No, how about some Tundra Cotton? I don't really want the rest of that. Canis Root? That's valuable. Oh, another Canis Root. Get some Potion of Recuperation. 
And maybe some other... Man, there's buckets everywhere. I hope they don't poop in these buckets that are right next to where they sleep. Oh, they even got a forge and everything. Well, how about this? It's, uh, it's getting to be about that time. What? How did they even get a dresser in here unless they built it? That's kind of cool. Um, it's getting to be about that time, and there still seems to be quite a bit more to this place. Um, so, uh, we'll, in the next episode, we'll kind of go around, we'll loot what we haven't looted, and see if any other challenges await us, and hopefully we can rescue our priest boy, who's up here. At least I think he is, according to our map, looks to be. So yeah, I'm really proud of this encounter, that was a lot of fun. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.